The Liberty's Benai Jelani has established herself as an unstoppable force on both ends of the court. Although basketball wasn't her first love, her mom, Yolanda, is to thank for helping craft the competitor WNBA fans now know as Queen B. Well, I actually thought when she was four years old, but she fooled me. She wanted to dance. She said she wanted to be a cheerleader, that she wasn't going to play basketball. And so I never did force her. She's coached. She's taught. She's given back to the community, you know, each and every weekend, just going up and, and teaching kids skill work. And so I was just always in the gym, always around it. And one day, I just got so bored sitting on the sideline. I was like, I'm just joining today. And, you know, ever since then, I've just, you know, s slowly fell in love with it. When she was 12 or 13 years old, she said, Mom, I love basketball. So now I know I had her, and I could teach her everything that I wanted to teach her. She wouldn't complain. I'd be able to make her go out there and run on the track, her sprints, her slides, everything, and she wouldn't complain. So I knew that she was going to be destined to um, have a, a great time in the sport of basketball. College for Benijah was an easy decision. She was going to do everything in her power to play for Vivian Stringer, the same coach her mom had at Shaney State and a woman that helped mold her childhood. Benijah's known Coach Stringer since she was an infant, okay? Um, she didn't want to play for anybody else but Coach Stringer. She watched the relationships that we had over the years, um, the bond that we had. So I knew where her heart was, and I just let her make the decision, and it rests with you. She had a, a very tough love for me, and I think ultimately, like, that's what helped get me to where I'm at. You know, just the, the knowledge that she has, the, the players that have come from her who have, you know, learned from her are just a, a testament in its, in its own right. And so me going to, to Rutgers was kind of a, you know, a, a no-brainer just in terms of the relationship that I had with Coach Stringer prior to going there. Kodak All-American Yolanda Laney led Shaney State to the first NCAA Women's Championship game in 1982. Wearing the number 44 isn't the only thing they have in common. This duo knows how to attack the basket. It's how they finish that sets them apart. I was versatile, but not to the point where Benazia was with the post move. See, I just used to jump over people when I used to post up a guard. I just jumped. But Benazia got footwork where she can score against a post player, against post up the smaller guards and everything. She has great pivot. I didn't have that. I was a, a leaper, had hang time when I played. But Benazia has been more of a fundamental versatile type players. Because the one thing that I always differentiated between uh, Benazia, because I always wanted to know that I'm a better shooter than you are. But you might post up better than me. Um, I could go to the rack very the same way Benazia. She doesn't go as often as I would like to see her go um, drive because nobody's going to stop her. That's the similarity that we have. We're both very good with penetrators. You know, she was taught to play a short-range game, a mid-range game, and a, a long-range game. She just has to figure out when to use them when she's out there on the, on the court all the time. When we go out in Philly, somebody will recognize me over in Philadelphia, and they'll say to her, your mom was all that. Your mom was this, and your mom, she could do that. Like, she was out there with the guys, and just knowing that you know, I would always, you know, challenge her to maybe like a one-on-one -on -one or, or something. She always wanted the opportunity to say that she beat mommy, and I said I would never give either one of my kids that opportunity. I would play them up to a certain point, and then I wouldn't play them anymore. That's it. Nope, can't challenge mommy. You ain't gonna ever say you beat mommy. On March 19th, 2023, South Carolina women's head basketball coach Don Staley was seen rocking Yolanda's Shaney State jersey during the Women's March Madness Tournament. I wasn't expecting so for Dawn to like use her platform to put up my mom. It was it was really special, you know, and I know my mom, she was super happy and excited. I called Dawn that night and I said, what you did was really huge because we're going to do a fundraiser off of that. We gave the proceeds from the sale of that jersey to Youth Empowerment Yet Coalition. And I said, Dawn, thank you. She kept just saying it was just the right thing to do. Again, it just speaks to who my mom was, you know, as a as a player, you know, all of the, the great things that, that she accomplished, you know, while while at Cheney and, and after. 
You know, community is something that my mother instilled in us, just making sure that we're always giving back. You know, the Lord has blessed us for a reason, and our blessings aren't just for us, it's for, you know, everyone around us. And that's just something that I've always held on to, you know, just seeing everything that she's done, you know, for and, and in the community. To just be able to give back to children, show them, you know, the, the possibilities of things is always something that's big for me. Benaja has always been somebody who cared about people. So I'm glad that if anything she picked up from me, it was remember where you came from and give back.